In the 20th century, philosophers established the field of medical ethics and it changed the practice of medicine. In the 21st century, we want to establish the foundations of AI ethics and we expect that to change the deployment and use of artificial intelligence for the betterment of all humanity. We've just had announced £150 million to establish a quite extraordinary humanities centre and also to establish an institute asking what are the ethical implications of artificial intelligence. We have one of the great departments of philosophy in the world and that's where we'll be thinking about the new sorts of rules and norms, the new sorts of ethical frameworks that will matter to us in an age of artificial intelligence. I was asked to help try and develop the concept and what this might look like and it's been an exciting and a really thrilling experience. Every time I sit down to think about the challenges around AI, I can see the Institute's research agenda being really relevant, crucial in fact. This is going to be a considered use of funding that just doesn't expect the technologists to come up with the ethical answers or indeed the computer scientists to work out the most creative and imaginative ways in which their technology might or could be used. This is really bridging that two cultures divide that C.P. Snow often talked about. How do we integrate an artistic and a humanities-based view of the world with our scientific outlook? That's what makes this a unique opportunity. And in the future, we will fully expect that this facility will attract even more investment into what will only be an increasing part of the intellectual journey on which Oxford, UK and the human race is engaged.